If your business is flatlining and you don't know what to do, this might be the answer that you're looking for. I'll share how we used it to grow our little home gig into a $40,000 a month revenue business so you can have a better understanding of how you can use the same book to grow your own business. Let's make t-shirts. These past two months have been extremely stressful. Not only have we been trying to sort out this whole shop situation, but sales have also been going down. You know, maybe it's January, maybe it's Obama. Thanks, Obama. But maybe, just maybe, there are way too many DTF printers now, and we're just getting drowned in the crowd of printers, urging all of you t-shirt makers to get prints from them. But regardless of the reason, we got to do something about it. Because we've invested all of our savings into this new shop, and once that's good to go, we're going to have four DTF printers. Yes, four. And we want to keep them running all day. So in the famous words of Matt Damon, I'm gonna have the purple cut out of this. Purple what? Yes, purple cow. Purple cow Form your argument. business by being remarkable. You know, that book by Seth Godin, the very one that has been in our playbook since day one. The same book that let me go from teacher to 40K a month in DTF sales. Well, before everyone and their mom got their own DTF printer. And honestly, I'm not even mad because that's literally the hustle. And if you're slacking, you're lacking. But I digress. So yeah, Purple Cow. It's one of the three books that changed the trajectory of our life. And to help you understand it, imagine this. It's a nice and bright day. You're driving around with a group of friends and your favorite song is blasting on Spotify. You reach a red light and stop. Your mind wanders as you sing to Bohemian Rhapsody. You're having the time of your life. And then you see this. Do you, A, pop singing to think, Hey kids, it's that TikTok. I swear. B, get everyone's attention so that they can share the experience with you. C, take your phone out, take a video and post it on social media. Or D, ignore him, not mind him at all, and keep on singing. Now that scene is pretty epic. So unless you've been lobotomized or desensitized by all the stimulus that you see on social media, I bet you'll either pick A, B, or C. But do you know why? Yep. Purple cow. Purple cow made the art. Purple cow made the team. Transform your business. Transform your business by being remarkable. Now you can go to Amazon and get the book, or you can get the audiobook, which is what I have. But don't worry if you don't have the time, the money, or both, because I'm about to give you the five most important takeaways and how we use them to stay on top of our game. So the first and most important point of Purple Cow is be remarkable, which according to the internet, to be remarkable is to be worthy of attention, to be uncommon, extraordinary. Let me give you an example. Imagine being in a world where the only two options for making t-shirts are the thick, heavy heat transfer vinyl and more expensive garment decoration processes like screen printing and embroidery. Now I have no issues with HTV. I've used it for a long time, but it's very limiting in terms of time, the number of colors that you can use, and it's very difficult to scale. Embroidery and screen printing, on the other hand, the price can vary depending on the number of colors, the number of stitches, and what your minimum order quantity is. And for the most part, especially in screen printing, they have an MOQ of at least 12. Now imagine being one of the first few to have the capacity to print full color digital transfers that's super affordable with a very simple pricing scheme. Imagine being able to let your customers buy just one copy of the print because that's all that they need. Now it's easy to imagine now because DTF printing is here and it's the new gold rush and everyone does it. But when we started Merch Studio, there were just a handful of us doing it. It was an original product that made full color digital printing accessible to everyone. And it got people talking about it to the point where it's so big that now we're having our very first DTF Expo, which is gonna be in Arizona in February. And by the way, I'm gonna be in one of the panel interviews with DTF.com there. So if you're in the area, just drop by and say hello. Anyway, the thing about Remark ability is that people will emulate or copy what works. For example, YouTube went through a phase of beastification where everyone tried to do videos like Mr. Beast. You know what I'm talking about, those sensational hyper edited videos that were designed for retention. And a lot of them started looking and feeling the same. So now when you watch that kind of video, it feels old and exhausting. And the same thing's happening with Marvel too. Like when they started coming up with these movies, Matt, everyone just wanted to see them. And now every other movie is a superhero movie and we're kind of getting a little bit of superhero fatigue. I guess what I'm trying to say is that something that's remarkable is eventually going to become commonplace. So even though remarkability is a very important ingredient, just by itself, it is not enough to stay on top. Which brings us to point number two, always be innovating. Like I said, when we started Merch Studio in January of 2021, there were only a few people doing detail transfers, custom detail transfers for other people. In fact, almost no one was selling them on TikTok. 
And if you check out our TikTok and go all the way to the beginning, there were actually a lot of comments telling me that I was misleading people because I was telling them how to start their own t-shirt business for 500 bucks. And the comments said that I should include the cost of the printer because they didn't understand the business model, which was I will print for them so that they don't need the printer. So yes, we had a purple cow and that is what enabled us to earn more than 200K in revenue the first year and more than double that last year. Our growth stagnated in the last quarter of 2023 because DTF has become so common. Now, sadly, our response was to just do more of the same thing because in our minds, we were first to market and we were ahead of the game. And it wasn't until a few weeks ago that our sales flatlined, not because of the economy or the coming holiday season, but rather because we became complacent. So now we're setting up a few purple cows. For example, we are redesigning our website to make it look different from everyone else. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. To be a true purple cow, we have to have remarkable products and those will be coming out in the next few weeks. Now, will we be able to pull it off? It's hard to say because as hard as we try to make them remarkable, it is ultimately up to the customers and clients to remark and talk about them. So we're at a point where we need to remind ourselves of point number three, create products that are worth marketing. It's easy to create a marketing worthy product when the market that you're targeting is in a blue ocean. All you have to do is create a minimum viable product, an MVP. And if it addresses a pain point that a lot of people have, in other words, it solves a very common problem, then the most basic but competent marketing campaigns should be enough to get the market to notice. Now, if the product does not cater to a blue ocean, then the product itself must be highly remarkable. Think personal computer when the word computer was still a job type. Yes, these were real people that got paid to sit on a desk all day and do math computations. Or a reusable rocket that goes back to Earth and reduces the cost of space travel by more than, I don't know, 90%. Or if you want a more recent example, maybe address the changes design and patterns as you move but it doesn't always have to be a physical product. Think McDonald's and the fast food system that they develop, Netflix and streaming, YouTube and how we create and consume media, and the list goes on and on and on. And point number three actually leads to point number four. Harness the power of word of mouth. If you have a good enough marketing campaign, chances are that you will have innovators and early adopters that will try your product out. If your product is average, they might use it on a regular basis, but they may not care enough about it to tell their friends and family. I mean, you don't talk about your electric fan at home unless it's a Dyson. I mean, just think about it. We don't normally mention the school that we graduated from unless it's Ivy League. Oh man, it's so cloudy today. Do you think it'll rain? Let me ask my friends who I went to Harvard with. Now, if your product is crazy impressive or even life-changing, and I'm talking about like Bill Collins and Tarzan impressive, then people will talk about it. They'll be very proud to be an early adopter and they'll recommend your product every chance they get. So now we get to the final but very important point. Playing safe is riskier than being bold. Being remarkable and innovative, creating remarkable products that people will talk about, none of these will matter unless you're willing to take a risk. Because when you're zigging, when everyone else zags, people are gonna think you're nuts. Your only hope is to find those few people that are gonna follow you so that more people can follow them. And this can be scary in multiple levels. You'll be asking questions like, what if I lose my credibility? What if I embarrass myself? What if this is a stupid idea? I promise you that there'll be a big chance that you'll doubt yourself and you'll be afraid of losing your money and time investments. And besides, in a world where more than 90% of businesses fail, you do not want to be a cautionary tale. As for us here in Merch Studio, we're designing products that we want to be very irresistible. However, to pull that off, we will need to take a leap of faith that people will embrace them and spread the word. It's scary because we don't have the financial bandwidth to take this risk, meaning that this will either take us to glorious heights or have us crashing to the ground. But the thing is, we had even less money when we started Merch Studio and it turned out okay. In hindsight, all that we did were the right things to do, but when you're deep in that situation, your primitive brain is gonna scream danger at you and it gets really scary real quick because you wanna protect what you have. We, and by we, I mean you and me, we can try to play it safe and maintain the status quo. But the chances are, like DTF, the business that you're in is a red ocean filled with sharks wanting their piece of the pie. And playing not to lose will guarantee nothing but that, a big fat L. So do your market research, do your competitive analysis, do your marketing strategies based on all that stuff. But whatever you do, make sure that it's a purple cow.